Flight flight one, Baker approach, bring altimeter 29067. So when we started, there was literally no infrastructure to support helicopters. There was two hospitals with helipads. There was limited weather reporting. There was no sort of routing. There was very limited fuel systems. So working with the Maine DOT and the State Aviation Master Plan, we built out really a first in the nation, comprehensive infrastructure that has weather reporting, point in space instrument procedures, and then finally now building roads in the air to tie all these places together. You can kind of see it. I got it programmed in there. There's tech load. I'll top her back off and then we'll head up to Calais. You know, if you call us, we need to come. So we need to do everything we can to maximize the potential that we're going to be there when a patient needs us. So Maine has the most complicated aviation weather environment of anywhere in the United States with the exception of Alaska. You'd like to think that there's a better season for flying in Maine, but they're all challenging in their own way. No changes on the approach. It would be heat rock. We're asking people to do something that's really complex, both in medicine, but also in aviation. In aviation, it's either VFR or IFR, which is visual flight rules or instrument flight rules. So instrument flight rules allows the pilot to fly the aircraft without visual reference outside of the aircraft. You can fly visual flight rules reference to the ground at all times. You can fly that safely every day that the weather's nice. When the weather's not so nice, then it gets a little more challenging. And the big difference is if you're operating under visual flight rules, then there's a lot of weather that I'm just not going to be able to go fly in. We get instrument flight rules, routes set up, that window that I can go pick somebody up, it gets bigger. The difference between the low level operations and normal operations are that low level operations will operate below radar coverage and below communications coverage. So the importance of a low level IFR route is it's a predetermined route that Air traffic control will know where we are, they'll know the altitude that we're flying at when they can't see us and they can't talk to us. They will be able to maintain the airspace in that area free of traffic. Being able to fly that instrument route at 2,000 feet instead of 4,000 feet may just be the difference that I need to be able to safely fly the route from point A to point B.